In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on November 24, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. North Carolina versus Portland. The North Carolina Tar Heels will be going for their fifth consecutive win when they face the Portland Pilots in the Phil Knight Invitational on Thursday afternoon. The Tar Heels are coming off an 80-64 win over JMU as 12 and a half point favorites. The Pilots are coming off an 80-68 loss to Seattle as three and a half point favorites. North Carolina won the only meeting between the two teams. The Tar Heels are 6-0 in their last six games played on a neutral site. The over is 5-1 in Portland's last six games following a double-digit loss at home. The under is 4-1 in the Tar Heels' last five games. The under is 9-2 in Portland's last 11 games following a straight-up loss. North Carolina has high expectations this year. The Tar Heels returned four starters from last year's impressive team and UNC has started the season 4-0. Even though this team has faced weak competition so far this year, the team has won every game but won by double digits, and the core from last season's team returns. Portland has not been impressive despite their 4-2 record, losing by double digits to both Seattle University and Kent State. This game will involve travel and an early start, but UNC should be ready and the Tar Heels should take care of business here. So the North Carolina Tar Heels to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. North Carolina finally looked like one of the top teams in country in the last game against a very good James Madison team. The Tar Heels are averaging 81 points per game. They scored 102 points in their only game against the Pilots. They play at a fast pace, averaging 72.9 possessions per game. Even though the Pilots are giving up 71 points per game, the Tar Heels will come close to hitting their average in this game. The Pilots are averaging 77 points per game and scored 78 points in their only game against the Tar Heels. They play at a faster pace, averaging 75.3 possessions per game. With the Tar Heels giving up 68 points per game, the Pilots will score enough points to push the score past the total. This game is going to be a shootout. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. USC vs. Tennessee The Tennessee Volunteers and USC Trojans meet Thursday in college basketball action at the Imperial Arena. The Tennessee Volunteers look to build on their 3-1 record. The USC Trojans look for their fifth win. The USC Trojans are 4-1 this season after they defeated Brigham Young University by a score of 82-76 in their last game. USC only led this game by one point at halftime, but was able to score 51 points in the second half for the win. USC shot 53.4 percent from the field, turned the ball over 14 times, and made 18 out of 30 free throws in the game. The USC Trojans are averaging 75 points per game, 66 points against per game, 39.8 rebounds per game, and 16.3 assists per game. Drew Peterson has led the Trojans this season with 15.8 points per game, 8 assists per game, and 7.8 rebounds per game. USC is shooting 45.1 percent from the field, 71 percent on free throws, and and 30% on three-pointers this year. The Tennessee Volunteers are 3-1 this season after they defeated Butler by a score of 71-45 in their last game. Tennessee struggled in the first half of this game and only led by five points at halftime but outscored Butler by a total of 43-22 in the second half for the win. Tennessee shot 48.1% from the field, was plus 8 in rebounding margin, and forced 23 turnovers in the game. The Tennessee Volunteers are averaging 74 points per game, 57 points against per game, 38.7 rebounds per game, and 16.7 assists per game. Josiah Jordan James has led the Volunteers this season with 14 points per game, 6 rebounds per game, and 1 
5.7 assists per game. Tennessee is shooting 37.3% from the field, 76.3% on free throws, and 31.7% on three-pointers this year. The Tennessee Volunteers are the better team on paper and should be favored, as their defense is legit and the way they suffocated Butler yesterday was impressive. USC has looked shaky at times during the beginning of this season, but they played a good game against Brigham Young University on Wednesday and got the win. USC lost to Florida Gulf Coast to open the season and only beat Vermont by two points in their third game of the year. Tennessee lost to Colorado by 12 points in their second game of the season, but has played great in the two games since then. USC hasn't impressed me this year and they need to show me more than they have before I pick them against a ranked team. So the Tennessee Volunteers to cover the spread is our full game side pick. The Tennessee Volunteers are averaging 73 points on 39.8% shooting and allowing 54 points on 35.4% shooting. The Tennessee Volunteers are shooting 31.9% from beyond the arc and 74.2% from the free throw line. The Tennessee Volunteers are allowing 25.6% shooting from deep and are grabbing 34.5 rebounds per game. The USC Trojans are averaging 76 points on 46.8% shooting and allowing 68 points points on 37.3% shooting. The USC Trojans are shooting 28.9% from beyond the arc and 68.5% from the free throw line. The USC Trojans are allowing 32.1% shooting from deep and are grabbing 36 rebounds per game. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Duke vs. Oregon State The 8th-ranked Duke Blue Devils get set to take on the Oregon State Beavers in the first round of the Phil Knight Legacy Tournament in Portland, Oregon on Thanksgiving afternoon. Duke, in the first year under new head coach John Shear, have started out 3-1 on the season. Meanwhile, Oregon State also comes in at 3-1 and is the de facto host of this tournament. Duke is 8-1-1 against the spread in their last 10 Thursday games and 4-9 against the spread in their last 13 games against a team with a winning percentage above .600 while the over is 8-3 to three in their last 11 neutral site games. Oregon State is 1-4 against the spread in their last 5 games overall and 8-2 against the spread in their last 10 neutral site games while the over is 21-5 in their last 26 games following a double-digit home loss. The Duke Blue Devils are the better program by far in this game as they are 10th in the nation with a plus 23.68 adjusted efficiency margin according to Ken Palm while the Oregon State Beavers are 242nd in the nation with a minus 6.18 rating so far. Far. In order to win and cover the spread, you need to defend well. Duke is allowing just 53 points per game while the Beavers are giving up 64 and a half points per game this year. I get the case to be made for Oregon State as a pseudo-home underdog in this spot with this game still being played in Oregon, but the problem for the Beavers is that they're up against one of the best teams in the country with a 3-1 record from a cupcake schedule. Duke is the better team by a couple of levels here and I just believe that the Blue Devils end up running circles around Oregon State. Additionally, the the Blue Devils are 8-1-1 to one to one against the spread in their last 10 Thursday games games while the Beavers are 1-4 to four against the spread in their previous 5 games. So the Duke Blue Devils to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Only one of Duke's 4 games thus far have gone over 140 points this season in total. This is significant in a game that Duke will control the pace and tempo. Duke is 186th in the country in pace of play so don't expect them to run the Beavers out of the building. They will run their sets, dominate the paint and win this game comfortably. Comfortably. All this will be done at a reasonable pace since Oregon State is not a team that has shown any proclivity to want to run themselves. Oregon State ranks 280th in pace of play thus far this season. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.